All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's final blog. Here to give you one last scout report for the day and I'm here to talk about TJ Yeldon, the running back coming from the Alabama Crimson Tide. And he had a great career in three seasons for the Tide, helping them win a national championship and in the 2012-2013 season. Now let's talk a little bit about him before he went to Alabama. He's actually from Alabama, from Daphne, Alabama, and he helped the team, his high school team in his junior season went an undefeated season and went in the national the uh, state championship over a great Hoover Alabama team now as a senior he actually had a great year oh rushing for over 2100 yards many touchdowns and he was honored the mr. football for the state of Alabama over Florida State quarterback and t one of the top NFL prospects Jamins Winston he had a great career in high school before entering Alabama and he was a US Army all-american now when he entered um, Alabama as a true freshman, he was the first true freshman in school history to rush for over a thousand yards, helping the team win that national championship. And in the next season as a sophomore, had another thousand yard season, more touchdowns. He had 12 touchdowns as a true freshman and then 14 as a uh, as a sophomore. And in this past season, he rushed for under a thousand yards and five yards to carry. He actually, his numbers dwindled just a little bit due to the fact that the bulk at running back and the depth at running back for the tie is pretty big especially with Derrick Henry behind um um TJ Yeldon um at running back also, he had a couple little bit of fumbleitis issues at, at, over the course of the last two seasons. That's why his numbers didn't dwindle as well. But I'll talk about that in his strengths and weaknesses. And speaking of his strengths, time to talk about his strengths. He has great quickness in running the football. He definitely does a good job finding the holes and creating uh, um, space. Uh, he does a good job in creation in space. He has good juking ability. And I think he can, he can become a decent player. One other thing that he does have, he does have decent speed. Okay speed. He ran a 46140 not really great but at the same time still decent enough and he is a little bit faster than that 46 speed he definitely has good speed also he is a decent receiver outside of the backfield he can't he's has shown that he could catch the football outside of the backfield to become a receiving back in the National Football League now he does have a couple things that he does lack now he can be a pass catcher but he is not a good pass blocker he needs to improve in this technique and becoming a great overall player in East Especially with a man of his size at six foot one, two hundred and twenty-six pounds, that is a great size that you want for a running back. The height and and the weight advantage. I think because of that 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 um that size, I think he should be a little bit better of a pass blocker compared to a smaller um back like um uh, Amir Abdullah, who has shown he is a better pass blocker than T.J. Yellen. He's actually a smaller back. Another thing he needs to work on is his ball security. Now he had over, um, he had 10 fumbles and 576 touches, and that is not good. He needs to do a better job in ball security. And one of the reasons why he has fumbled a lot over the course of the last two seasons is because of his running, of his running technique. He sometimes runs at a high pad level, making him vulnerable to. Um, get um, high, high um, hard collisions and losing the football. He needs to do a better job and running a little bit lower and, and, and using ducking his shoulder a little bit to protect the football. He needs to do a better job at that. Or use a tiki barber technique when he holds the football high, preventing players from snatching the ball away. And you know when he held it like up to here, that actually helped him from fumbling the football. Maybe he could use that technique. If not, he needs to go a little bit lower, stay low and run in, in between the holes and duck his shoulder better to protect the football. Now my projection for him for this year's draft, I actually have him as a late third round selection, early fourth round selection. I think there's at least five running backs I believe is a little bit better as of today than TJ Yeldon. I'm not going to give you the names, but I still think that Yeldon is a good running back. I think he should have stayed it for one more season, but he is still a good, snifty, speedy running back, and I think he'd become a great one half of a tandem in the National Football League. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be on Thursday. I'm actually going to give you guys just a couple of blogs for Thursday Scout Reports. Thank you for watching today's blogs. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.